So what makes John different than all the other Gospels is that he brings it back to the Old Testament, all the way back to the beginning of Genesis. Whereas when you read Luke, you might think, oh, that's the beginning, the birth of Jesus. Um, but John takes it all the way back to Genesis, showing us that Jesus has always been with us. He was with us since day one when he talks about the word being with God and the word was God. Um, so I thought that was really, really good. And whenever we see the miracles and healings of Jesus, um, he they're depicted as, as signs to show glory so that others might come to know him and believe in him. And in John 2, the story where it's the first miracle, Jesus turns water into wine. Um, I really like this here because it shows it shows a few things. It shows glory. It shows honor and it shows authority. It shows um, Jesus' glory, God's glory in um, being able to do this miracle for one. It shows honor. It shows Jesus giving honor to his mother. Um, you know, one of the Ten Commandments is to honor your mother and father. And I think Jesus shows it here because, you know, even though he's God and he has the authority, his mother says, hey, we need more wine. We've run out. And he, he honors her in that. And then it shows his authority in that he can skip the entire fermenting process and just go straight to changing water into wine. So I thought that that was really awesome.